On this episode of FC Isle of Man non-league to Premier League, we take a look at whether we could win the Northwest Counties Premier League and the Macron Cup. Let's go. First up, we take a look at the Northwest Counties Premier League, and as you can see, we finished top as champions, winning 31 games, drawing a, only losing the three, 61 plus goal difference with 101 points. We absolutely smashed the league to bits after a shaky start. The new system of the Swansea has absolutely smashed us forward in this league. We couldn't get top goal scorer because Adam Farrell turned into a non-league Erling Haaland at Presswich Hayes, who didn't even finish that well. They finished on fourth place, so imagine what they'd be like if they had a proper team. Henry Okenla was second with 36 in 42 games, which I still think is a very, very good return for him. He got 11 player of the matches, lost out again to Adam Farrell. He got the second highest average rating, losing out again to Jack Warner. So he's always the bridesmaid, never the bride. And then assists, we lost out on those as well. Luke Jordan at Paddingham got 17. Sharp and Gordon got 15 and 14 each, which was absolutely class. Let's take a look at back at the schedule and how we got on from January till now. We went on massive runs. There were a lot of draws as well in there, which was very, very disappointing. But the one that gets me is the Berry game. We were 3-0 up in that game, as you will see, and we lost 4-3, which was absolutely heartbreaking. They're a very, very strong side, and I wish them all the best, but we should never, ever have lost that game. They got revenge on us for beating them in the Macron Cup semi-final, which we will play on this episode against Wivenshaw Town. It's going to be an absolutely massive game. I've got the away shirt on because we're away for that final and it only seems right to get that away shirt going. But before we look at that, let's look at the squad and how they've got on through the season. This is the lineup has mainly been this lineup. But as we can see, we've got some great players playing some great football. James Byers, he's got a lot of goals. Since we switched system to the Swanzola, he's been absolutely insane. 17-year-old, worth 2k at this level, which is a it's mad. He got 20 goals in 41 games in the league for us. He's improving all the time, and I'm hoping he can stay as our regular shadow striker through the leagues as we go. We then also signed another player on a free transfer, Ronaldo Brown. Came in looking like Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's done absolutely class. He got five goals in six games. He's also set up four goals as well. We're trying to get a contract with him, but he wants like £230 a week, which is absolutely madness, in my opinion, at this level. You've heard me talk about Henry so many times. Henry or Ken La, it's worth 12k at this level. Absolutely class. 36 goals in 38 games in the league. You can't ask for much more than that. He was injured twice in the season. Two big injuries as well. So God knows what he could have done without those injuries. Another player that I feel doesn't get the attention but really should is Diego Latite. He's been the difference at right back. His stats might not show it, but he's always solid in game. As you will see in the next game, he will be a key player for us. And then, due to the change of system, Sam Faber's playing time has gone down, but it's probably been the best for him. He got 22 goals in 41 games for us. It doesn't give him as much pressure, and he's improving all the time, and I feel like he's a good off-the-bench option. We also got through some very, very good young prospects in our under-18s. Let's have a look at them. we got Jim Apter through, who at this level is absolutely class, Scottish winger, Look at those stats. He's got great natural fitness. He's got big boy pace, big boy acceleration for this level. He's one I think can go and probably start next season or at least get on the bench. And as you can see, look at all these five-star potentials for this level. But the main man is Irish, this Irish man who they say we should convert to a wing back, which is probably what I'm going to do, uh, if I'm honest. He looks absolutely class for a wing back. He needs to improve on the strength. But I feel like as a wing back, he would be very, very good. It's crazy they can play wing back, attack midfielder, and striker. You don't often see things like that. I suppose this is a non league, a non league thing. And then Jimmy Middleton looks absolutely class at this level as well. It's a shame because he probably won't get into the team because of Fabers, Bayer, and or Ken Lyon, and anyone else we bring in next season. But he's one to watch, in my opinion. Definitely one to watch. Now, let's get into. The game of the season, it's the Macron Cup final against Wivenshaw Town. Let's go FC Isle of Man. Let's see the big celebrations. I've got the shirt on. We have to do this. The lineups are in for the biggest cup game of the season. It's FC Isle of Man versus Wivenshaw Town. They've got their best 
lineup on and we've got our best lineup on. It's going to be a tough game, but I feel like we can do this cup double. Let's go, boys. I'm hoping for a big performance from our Ken Law. He could be the difference in this game. One of the best strikers in the league. Let's go, FC Isler, man. Women Shore Towns, their form is shaky. They're playing a five at the back with two up top. It looks like they're going all out defensive. We're going for the Swanzola. We've got four wins out of five. So the form's there. Everything's there. Let's go, boys. It's a big game. One of the biggest game in the club's history so far. And it's only early on. They're wearing the home shirt. So I thought we'd wear the away shirt. So I'm wearing a different shirt to them. But it's just superstition at this point. Let's go, Isla Man. Come on, boys. Big encouragement from the sidelines from home. We got this. Let's go. It's such a big game. There's a thousand people at this game as well. Mainly Manx men coming. Schofield whips one in. Wolfenden gets beat in the air. Come on, Henry. Win that, son. He's going to win it. Oh, ref, that looks like a bit of a dodgy one, but he doesn't blow up. It's non-league, remember, not Premier League. Schofield now into Wolfenden. Wolfenden turns. Hallam Hope. Hallam Hope! What a finish! Come on! Yes! Hallam Man 1-0. Come on! Get in! Hope with an absolute banger of a goal. What a finish. Pure inspiration from the deep line playmaker there. He finessed that into the bottom corner. And the Ravens go marching on in the final. 1-0. Let's go. Big goal. Big goal from Hope. What a goal. Hope gives us hope. I had to say it. There was no reason not to say it. What a goal. Absolutely insane goal from the lads. Everyone's up for it now. Come on, boys. It's a very equal game at this point. We've got better pass completion and possession, but the, the shots on target is leaning their way. XG is leaning their way. We're committing more fouls, which is good because we're a physical side. Fergus still into Wolfenden. Wolfenden chips it over the top. Ronaldo Brown. Come on, Cristiano. Nah, he hasn't got that Cristiano Ronaldo flair, you know. He's, he's, he's a B-Tech Cristiano. Byers now. Had a great season. Doesn't play a great ball, though. Gets cleared. Can he win the second? He can't. Gets bullied by Goodridge, but Dudley's there. Into Fergus. Fergus hoofs it. Jimmy Byers can't win another header. Ah, oh, it's not looking good, lads. They could come back here. Come on, win that back. Yeah, just see him out. See him out. Go on, we'll have that. Fergus, your Schofield, big in the air. Wolfie, good pass. Oh, Kenla now. Brown. Brown sees Jimmy Byers. Jimmy Byers is in. Jimmy Byers! Yes! The spin round in the chair. And Jimmy Byers. Stranger things have happened. And he scores a goal in the final. This has got to be our game, lads. Come on, boys. What a win this would be. A league and cup double in the first season. You can't ask for more than that. Best whips one in. Come on, boys. Byers wins a header this time. Makes a change, lad. Close him down before he gets the shot off. Well, close down. That's it. Let them go back. Come on, regain our shape. Regain shape. Woods. Good pass to Putman. Putman now looking to drive. He's got no options. It's being closed down well by the Ravens. I always have this thing. I want to call them the Manx men, but you can't. That's not their nickname. Oh, that's tame. Terry Smith will get there. Well done, Tez. Roll it out, Tez. Or are you going to hoof it? I think he's going to hoof it. Yeah, he loves a hoof. Can Henry get there? It's route one, but Henry's in. Henry, oh, he gets tackled. Ronaldo Brown tries the chip, and ah, it didn't quite work. But, I mean, route one, with, I don't care how we score goals. Route one, fancy football bangers. Who cares? It's a goal. Keep his ball all day. What I tell. Very calm and goal, the 35-year-old Terry Smith. Hoofs it forward. And it's a Ken Law wins it. Jimmy Byers on the ball now. Does a scissor kick past the sharp. Sharp now, driving inside. Ah, uh, Kenlar got there. Didn't think he'd get there. Back into Sharp. Byers is free in the middle. This would be a great goal. Oh, he lacked the finish, but the football there was brilliant. That was Premier League quality football there from the Manx men. Latite into Jimmy Byers. Diego Latite. Oh, he plays a great ball. Sharp. Well played, Sharp. Ah, oh, Kenlar's in. Oh, he couldn't win the header. Well defended. Latite. Whip it in. Whip it. Oh, I didn't want to whip it. Sharp. Byers. Yes, that's got to be the game. Jimmy Byers, 26 goal of the season. He's not even bothering to celebrate. He's just looking at the travelling fans, giving them the big thumbs up. I've won you the game. We've got our cup double. What a result at halftime. The dressing room is absolutely buoyant. 
But ask him for another half. Just go and play the same way, lad. Let's go and win 6 0. Wolfenden. Into Latite. Into Sharp. Sharp. Oh, Ken La. Oh, good save from the keeper there. It's quality football. Looking for the quick release. Trying to catch off, off guard. Fergus was there, but we don't win the second ball. Can Sco oh, Schofield. Wolfenden was sleeping. Schofield does well. Quality defender, Schofield, at this level. Oh, Wolfenden nearly got there. Well, come on, Ronaldo. Come on, Ronaldo, bro. All right. Win that header, Fergus. Well done, son. Hope. Can Ronaldo get the second ball? He can't. Oh, he can. He, he sort of got it. Fergus still now. Into Hallam Hope. Oh, Hallam Hope with the turn. Silky football, lads. Sharp. What a ball from Sharp. Oh, Ken Lars in. He's got a score. Oh, what a finish was that? That was poor from a Ken Lars. A Ken Lars normally better than that. He's not showing off his best form in this game today, lads. You wouldn't, you, if you see him, him playing like that, you wouldn't think he'd get 36 goals a season, would you? It's mad. Crazy. He's coming off. Sammy Faber deserves, deserves his chance to play in this game. As does Spencer Gordon, who's been absolutely class this season. For some of these lads, it could be their last game for us. Players like Wolford and players like Still, even Dudley as well. It could be his last game. Ronaldo Brown, if he doesn't want to sign a new contract. It's going to be a big rebuild next season, lads. Ronaldo Brown wins the header. Jimmy Byers. Still Jimmy Byers. Goes for the banger. Oh, was close. Was close. Well done, Jimmy. I don't mind that 3 0 up. I don't mind that. If it was 1 0, I'd want a little bit more finesse on the play, but. I don't need to take take Fergus off in his last game. He's having a banger just because he might get suspended for next season. He won't be here next season. He's not really impressed. Atkinson now. Oh, Putman's in behind Dudley. Come on, Diego. Deal with that. Well done, son. Come on, close that down. Ooh, that would have given him a chance back into the game if that goes in. That would have given him an absolute big, big, big boy chance. All right, there's not long left. Come on, boys. We might have to take Fergus off anyway because he's knackered. Emmett Del Funzio, another player whose last game it is for the club. Contract expiring, won't get a new one. He was injured for four months. He's just not been the same player since. There'll be better players next season. Win that, Fergus. Well done, Fergus. Big boy, Fergus. Come on, boys. Let's not, let's not, let's not fall apart. We've been three and before and lost. Well done, Tezza. We need one more. Just just for me to not to be, you know, having those nightmares of that Berry game. Dudley. Dudley over the top. Jimmy Byers. Oh, he wins it. Faber. Come on, Fabes. Uh, he just wasn't he wasn't awake to the second ball, but he'll press. He's got a great work rate, Sam Faber. Hallam Hope now. Don't get sent off to that. Oh, great tackle, Jimmy Byers. Ronaldo Brown. Faber. Well played. Gordon. Gordon, is Faber going to get there? Faber kind of gets there. Gordon's there. Gordon! Oh, Spencer Gordon beats the Hebrew. Come on, at the near post. And the Manx men are massive everywhere we go. I should call us the Ravens, but I'm not going to. Apologies for that. I just think the Manx men's a better nickname, but I guess you can't, you know, in this day and age, you can't call a team the Manx men. I don't know. It just, it just rolls off the tongue better than the Ravens. But I know the Isle of Man is famous for Ravens. I asked my mother-in-law. And she told me that's why they're called the Ravens. So there we go. Low with the corner. Come on, lads. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. Well done, big faves. Wilkinson. Putman. Oof. Nearly scored a banger. It would have been too little too late anyway. Because it's looking like it could be fireworks and ticker take time. I don't know if they do that at non-league. We're going to find out. And they do do it at non-league. It's the Macron Cup. FC Isle of Man. Domestic double in the first season. We're going up. A level, and we're taking this this trophy with us as well to add to our trophy room. We've got more trophies than Tottenham now. This is absolutely class, and it's going to be a big moment in these young lads' career to get a league and cup double. It's going off. Oh, it's ticker tape and firework time. Let's go, boys! Come on. I can't believe we've done it in the first season. This non-league to Premier League series has kicked off in the first three episodes with a league and cup double. You can't ask for no more than that. We won everything we was in, apart from the you know, the FA Cup and the Vars, which is far, far levels, far, far levels above us. One day we'll get there. But at this moment, 
We're doing the press interview, telling them this is only the first step on the road to becoming a Premier League side. And that's it for this episode. I'll see you on the next one where we review the season review and discuss our plans for next season.